Hello and welcome back to the Linux Pan YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at installing the GNOME desktop environment on Arch Linux. And before we proceed any further into the video, I'd like to thank my channel member Mislav. They get early access to videos such as this one right here, as well as a little badge next to their name for both the videos and live stream, and they get priority response comments as their comments get sent directly to my phone first. Anyway, let's get into the video. So, I know a lot of people are searching on YouTube how to install GNOME on Arch Linux. This is just a thing that YouTube's screaming, hey, this is a thing that's happening. Why? So, I'm going to actually show you how. So, we have our nice, uh, freshly installed Arch Linux uh, operating system. I installed it just before this video, specifically for it. It's all set up nice and running, as you can see here. It's absolutely bare bones. So there are a few things we're going to have to do first. First thing we need to do is actually see if the system is up to date. So we do that with sudo pacman-syu and then sudo pacman-syu and there we go. Just making sure the system is entirely up to date. There's no questioning about if it may be update or anything. It's just guaranteed as we can see up to date good so as you can see this is just the standard desktop environment there's there's nothing here there's just there's just nothing here so this is the point where we start making our changes now to get gnome working we need to install xorg which is responsible for the actually drawing of the desktop environment it's the x server so we actually need to get all of that installed and uh, running first before we can then proceed. So to do that, we just do sudo pacman hyphen s xorg, and this is going to ask which one of these do you want to install. The answer is all of them. Yes, seriously. Just whack enter, and then it's going to ask you which one do you want. I'm going to go for default, and then do you really want to install seventy four packages to a total of forty eight? Megabytes, sorry, 48 mibibytes. Yes, you do. Now, after this, we need to install the Xorg server, which is the bit of software responsible for actually drawing it all and making it all visible because it needs a way of actually showing it. So we just do sudo pacman hyphen s Xorg server. Now, if you wanted to, you probably could have done both of these at the exact same time. However, Doing it simply like that, it's just no. Anyway, as we can see, the Xorg server is installed. Now, here comes the part where we install GNOME. Can you believe it's really that easy? Now, as we can see, we were at 333 packages when we started. We're now at 406, so not even a hundred packages increase. Which, again, it's not even what 60 mibibytes. Nothing. It's it's nothing. Which is really bloody cool if you think about it. So. We now need to install GNOME. To do that, it, just, it should be as simple as sudo uh, pacman-s gnome. This is then going to ask which one of these bits of additional software do you want to install along with it. Now, you could you could pick and choose if you wanted to, but the recommended way of doing it is just installing everything because that way it will work. As we can see here at number... 27 there is gnome software if you don't install gnome software you get a dead desktop environment you can't do anything with it just installs the base and does nothing else trust me i i, I know I, I know from first hand fun when you can't use your own desktop but everything's here you've got um console connections you've got system monitor which is good to have remote desktop disk utilities just everything there so you whack enter to select everything again it's entirely up to you notice the yelp is there as well that's that's funny and then you can choose for emoji fonts you can go with noto fonts or ttf joy pixels i am just going to go with noto or just enter for noto and here we have all of the software needed now this is going to uh, actually increase the size of the operating system by 1.3 gigabytes or gibibytes should i say 
which again if you take into consideration the fact that it's installing an entire desktop environment that's not that bad so as you can see here it's just going through and installing it or downloading it to be installed so this will absolutely vary this part here will absolutely vary on your internet connection your connection to the uh, arch linux servers because of the fact it's downloading everything it is just how fast you can download things now you could change the settings in pacman so it could do parallel downloads so it could download more than one package at a time um the default is five if you enable that option and in the doc in the actual file it says re not recommended more than five for uh opera for users with uh slower insect now when i installed this operating system i'd set up pacman to download 500 packages at a time yeah uh it took 48 seconds to get the operating system into an installed state which is not bad at all so it's worth taking into consideration i, I will actually show off the uh where the pacman configuration is done so as we can see here it's just hopefully yeah hope it is still running so it's just going through the configuration just setting up the usb users as well as the remote desktop as you can see here it's got the uh, brl uh, tty so braille device uh, daemon with uh, user id and group id 970 so it's just going through and getting everything set up so it should no okay we'll just sit and wait for a second okay so now it is i go into the process of as you saw there just rushed through this is just saying hey look this is what could be missing don't worry that's fine that happens every time you install um bits of system changing software so don't worry about it uh, as we can see here this is now done it is installed we now need to give this a desktop manager because we've got the software we just have no way of actually showing software and the desktop so we need to install a desktop manager now with uh gnome it is recommended that you use uh the use gdm gdm is the usual display manager that is used and is recommended by gnome as it is the default however your mileage may vary and you can use other desktop um desktop managers if you want but because gnome is sorry gdm is the recommended for gnome we are going to use gdm so to do that what we need to do is just do pseudo sorry i just realized i accidentally cut myself off because where i had my mouse um, so to do that what we need to do is uh, sudo pacman hyphen s gdm so this will install the display manager then we can we can see here it's installed now what we need to do is actually verify it is installed uh can i, can I reload Oh, we're about to find out if it's um, bothered or not. So to do that, we just want to do Pacman hyphen Q or capital Q lowercase S G D M. And as we can see here, uh, display manager, login screen, and the said and the support library to go with it. So it is installed, which is good. Now, what we need to do is, or well, what we can do, is uh, install. We'll get this set up to run automatically from boot. Now to do that. Um, we do system or well, sudo system ctl so system control enable then i'm going to be doing it with dash dash now as in did i stutter enable it now and look at that it is as simple as that How hard was that? Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to change this because this looks horrifically bright. A, horrifically bright, and B, in the wrong resolution. That's much better. Much better. I've got to. 
Uh, just, just much better. Not as harsh on the eye. As we can see here, we are now actually inside the. Um... I have a terminal, please. As we can see here, we now actually have a system environment. If we just you know, fetch right quick. As we can see here, we have. No idea how I'm to full screen this. Oh, are you telling me I can't full screen this? Oh, no, you are. Really? Uh, as you can see here, we have a functional operating system. It's currently, why are you using 4 gigs and gig of RAM? I don't know. But we have a working operating system and desktop environment. Now, to check the status of GDM, even though we can see we are actually in GDM, so sudo system GTL status gdm.service. We can either do gdm or gdm.service. And as we can see, we are currently in it and it is working. Ignore the fact that it's going, hey, I'm not working because it's clearly working. It doesn't know its own self. Apparently it's already dead, so I don't know how. By the way, at this point, if you wanted to, you can install some additional software. Install software to your heart's content. Uh, as promised, I am going to show you the location of uh, where you make changes for NeoFetch. Fetch. Um, Pac-Man. Uh, so it's just uh, CD into ETC, then it is uh, Vim Pac-Man. And this is where you would go to make the changes for parallel downloads. Um, in my case, 500 is... Five hundred. There we go. Five hundred for giggles, because yes. And then let's just do go. Uh, and as we can see here in real time, it's done. Yeah, that quick. Anyway, that's that's genuinely how you install. Um, that's how you install uh, GNOME on. The actual on an actual Linux operating system. Every time you reboot, it will bring you back to that. Reboot and you're off to the races. I will just quickly try that just to give you all peace of mind. And then rebooting. Take a couple of seconds. To, again, dependent on your own hardware. And it is simple as that. Off to the races. So I want to thank you very much for watching. If you're not already subscribe maybe consider subscribing if you like the video hit the like button if you dislike they hit the dislike they both seem to work even though you can only see one of them and remember my kernels when you use linux do not panic i have been nick you have been amazing and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day bye